people who have been incorrectly accused of cheating, what was your partner's proof? He said he saw comb stains on the back seat of my car. The interior of my car is black fabric and I worked in a pizza shop at the time. The stain was flour. He wouldn't even go look at the stain to see it would rub right off, and he refused tell me any other proof he had because I would just explain it away. Way back when I was a teenager I was seeing a guy who looked through my used underwear in the laundry hamper after I had gone to work and found a pair with discharge. He then said it was a cum stain and that I would know because as a man I obviously have seen a lot of it and I know what it looks like. Okay. Clearly you don't? He was all sorts of crazy lamau. Turns out he was the wang stain all along. My ex was once confused about where I got my UTI from because he didn't have one. I was deep into an online game and my wife came to me with a bra that definitely wasn't hers. She stood by the door and loudly said "Whose are these? I took what she said as an innocent question, rather than an investigation. I quickly looked over and said fuck if I know and went back to my game. She quickly realized that if I had cheated, and she found proof, I would have had a deer in headlights look for a second. It was her sister's bra that somehow go into our laundry. We laugh about it to this day. Yo! That sums and master cold blood reaction right there. Yeah. Even if I know for sure I didn't do anything, I still freeze if someone questions me. I know some people are bad liars but can you be a bad truther? Her proof was that I was friends with a woman in the same area on Facebook. I did volunteer or work at the local hospital, I was friends with a lot of the hospital staff on Facebook. Her accusation came very shortly after my brother caught her on a date with another guy. You're friends with other woman? You cheating bitch. Slash s. Wars. He's Facebook friends. Everyone knows that if someone is on your Facebook friends list, you're banging on the regular. Yes, even your crazy uncle that listens to Alex Jones. Especially him. A pair of my wife's panties fell out from the leg hole of my pants while I was driving to work. I grabbed them and shoved them in the driver's side door pocket and promptly forget about them. Several weeks later we are cleaning out our cars together and she finds them and is like WTF. She doesn't recognize them as her own. Finally remembers after I scroll through several thousand of my pictures to find a pic of her actually wearing them. How do people not recognize their own freaking undergarments? Defuke. Yeah. So many instances of people not recognizing their own clothing. Like how many pairs of underwear do you all own to forgot that you own some of them when you see them? This is mind boggling. I can recognize every single article of clothing I own. I even recognize which thing belongs to which sibling. She cheated on me and decided that means I must clearly also be cheating. <laughs> Also another one, my brother texted me, asking me if I was working tonight. X decided I just changed the name in my phone to my brother name but it wasn't really my brother because why would my brother ask that? Because he wants you to come help him move some heavy shit to the attic for free? You were fucking your brother weren't you? Ooh yay my ex-husband did that one a lot, accusing me of changing contacts to hide someone. In reality he did that. Obviously. LOL. Well, my GF was huge on projecting. It wasn't proof and she didn't directly accuse me of cheating, but it was insinuated. After doing laundry she noticed she didn't see one of my nice pairs of black boxers. Pretty much her argument slash verge of tears was because can't find them equals they must be at another girl's house. And she was dead serious. Anyways, they were just behind the laundry hamper. For the time being. After we broke up I found out she was fucking her boss. So, projection is real folks. Also, who the hell leaves a girl's house without their underwear? Makes no sense. I actually did do this but worse. I was hooking up with this girl while she was house sitting for her friend. I somehow left my boxers in her friend's basement. Her friend's boyfriend, from what I hear, was unhappy. Nothing like creating unintentional drama for other couples to sort out. Apparently the online support group for my father's brain tumor was a chat room for casual hookups. Dash. Edit. Dad had the tumor. X had the insane jealousy. 
dad didn't survive glioblastoma. Fortunately that was long enough ago to roll my eyes at some of these comments. Chuck Pahaliuk is an amazing writer. But may your life never bear a slight resemblance to one of his plots. X has long since been vamoosed. This is horrible. Yeah, worst idea I had so far. She found a necklace in my bed and I didn't know how it got there. Turned out to be her necklace that she had lost and didn't recognize in the dark. She didn't even turn the lights on before accusing. Reaching around in the dark. What is this him touching? IT feels like cheating. The ha ha ha. This reminds me of the fact that my so and I have a running joke where we pick up a loose strand of hair laying around and say whose is this? When it's obviously his or mine. She saw the names of my female family members in my contacts. She freaked out and angrily asked who my stepmother was, my stepsisters, my cousins, my auntie. It lasted about two minutes. She started to realize she was being an idiot, and I realized I didn't like her anymore. Damn girl, looks like I lost your number. Indeed. You're right. I do have too many females numbers in my phone. I better get rid of one. I love playing around with my BF by accusingly asking who the fuck is mom? When she calls. She heard a woman in the room laughing through the phone when she called me to accuse me of being out with another woman. Turns out there are other people in the world and when you're out in public you just may encounter them. I walked past a pub full of people while I was on the phone to him and he said I must have been cheating. Even if I was I wouldn't have been that stupid to pick up the phone in front of the other guys, right? Edit, damn okay I wasn't cheating with multiple guys. He thought I was cheating because he heard people in the background through the phone. I once dated this girl who, on a grocery run together, stopped me in the parking lot on the way out and loudly accused me of flirting with the cashier, because I had, heavens, no. Dared to smile and wish her and I stay on our way out of the store. Some people just have massive trust issues and can't be helped. At least, not by you. Therapy helps. Of course, they have to want to be helped. Sometimes the best you can do is wish them well, and move on. I had a woman's phone saved in my contacts. It was my son's pediatrician. A photo of me with two gorgeous girls. Yes I have two gorgeous sisters. A bra in my flat. Yes, it was her own bra which she had forgotten. I think this was on purpose, she was fishing for a reaction to the accusation. And so many more. And hashtag X200B. Edit. Reading the other comments made me remember about the time she made a big scene because she found nail polish in my toolbox. It was black. I have always had black cars and motorcycles. I use nail polish to fix small scratches. You should do your nails with paint pens man. They are so much easier than the little brushes. Seriously I was accused for having an affair for nail polish when I build models for a hobby. It was a black wash for weathering. I got a happy birthday text from a guy. It was my brother-in-law. My ex got jealous of my brother-in-law. I talked about him and my sister a lot because I knew they were soon to be engaged and I was helping with the proposal. He threw out the idea that my, at the time soon to be, brother-in-law must have a golden pecker with how much I talk about him. To this day, 3 plus years, I still refer to my brother-in-law as golden pecker and we laugh about how stupid my ex was. Hey that's close enough from being a stepbrother to be Seuss. She knew that if I drove exactly the speed limit and hit every light that it would take me 12 minutes to get home after work. The one time I showed up in 14 minutes was all the proof she needed. Bro laid mad pipe in 2 minutes. More like 15 seconds. Gotta get to the pipe lane, gotta get back to the car and start it up, etc. He stopped at a red light and a woman pole vaulted into his car, landing on his dick. It could have happened to anybody. What do you mean, you tripped, fell, landed on his dick? I have poor handwriting. I was running a business and someone suggested I contact Till about some sales. 
I wrote till down in my phone book, it was long ago when people used personal phone books. I come home months later to the question who's Jill? I don't know anyone named Jill. I am stumped. After a few rounds of who? Huh? Why? My girlfriend shows me the entry in my handwriting. It takes me a while to place the name. I explain that it isn't Jill but Till, a man. That was the end of it, but I never got over her looking through my personal phone book for revealing entries. In the end, we split two weeks before we were to get married. Till never did buy anything from me. You almost had till death do you part. Fuck you, take my upvote.